I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here with Scott Ainsley, who's a blues guitar player, uh, among other things, and uh, from <laughs> North Carolina, though presently living in uh, Vermont. Right? I'm in Vermont. been there okay. four years, yeah. And he travels and he does educational uh, uh, gigs at schools and uh, tries to teach about this kind of stuff as well as performs and mm -hmm. uh, has an amazing career with uh, DVDs on how to learn, and I've, I've got them on it, I'm, I'm going to be learning, and, uh, and music and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to start off with... Uh, a cigar box. We are actually. Uh, any cigar smokers out there? Ashton's, Your kids, I Ashton's, hope not. There you go. Uh, this is a cigar box. These were these are in instruments that were improvised by uh, by black folk in the South and other poor people. Um, there are prototypes for them all over Sub-Saharan and Central West Africa, where one-string slide instruments are played uh, without the cigar box, but with some sort of a resonator. And a, and a okay, now resonator. String. What's the resonator for? Well, we have a we have a string here, and if we could if we could detach it from the from the box, we hear almost nothing out of it. Right. It would make almost no sound at all because the string doesn't move very much air. If you're going to fan yourself, like not with the string so much. Yeah, you wouldn't fan yourself with a string if it was hot. And if you, you could try this at home, you just open up your hand like that and try and fan yourself. It doesn't work very well. But if you close it, you can move more air. And so just and uh, but anyway, the string doesn't move very much air, and right. so it doesn't make much noise. In order to have a sound wave, you have to move more air. Uh, when we speak loudly, we use more air. When you play a trumpet more loudly, you're pushing more air through it. Right. You need to move more air than a string will do. And so what we do is attach a string to something else that will vibrate in sympathy to the string. And this actually is mechanically moving the front of the box, uh, the whole box, but it's moving the box. And then this creates a noise. Right. But if we could take that away, it'd be very, very, very quiet. Right, right. Um, but since we can't, I have three different resonators here today, which I'll show you. Okay. Uh, well, this is the most primitive one. Okay. All right, so resonance, so that's pretty cool. So kind of like if I had a tuning fork like this, I could vibrate the tuning fork. I can hear it. I can hear it. Nah, you but can't you can't hear it. Hear it. Yeah, yeah. But if I hit it and touch it to the resonator, now not only is the fork vibrating, but the box is vibrating too. So the fork isn't moving much air, which is all we hear anyway is vibrating air. And so uh, not much, we don't hear much. But now the box is also vibrating air. So that's resonating. Right. And we yeah. do this with almost anything. And you can find out what makes a good resonator by trying different subjects. We can play the door. We can play the door. And these instruments were built on houses for a while. If we tried the cement floor, we get almost nothing because we can't make it move. Not so much. You want something that's movable. So like if I had one of these, which is a standard. Well, this is um, beautiful. It's, it's a little wooden box. It's a wooden box that uh, vibrates air. Tuning fork on top. The tuning fork vibrating doesn't make much noise. But uh, when the box vibrates... Try hitting this... Wow, that's great. That's great Try this one. Okay, we got a little noise. You can hear that, but... Okay. Unbelievable. There it's all go. about the box. It's all about the box. Yeah. So we have three different resonators here. Uh, two really primitive ones and one fairly advanced. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we'll uh, play it for you. Yeah. Now I've marked a minor pentatonic scale on this, so I divided oh. the string in half, and in thirds, and in fourths. And then I've got a flatted third and a flat seventh, which gives us the minor scale. It sounds like this. There's the octave. There's a scale that comes out of Africa. Come on. 